how to add products from aliexpress to shopify hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys the updated way to add products from aliexpress to your shopify store because drop shipping is still a really lucrative model although a lot of people are going to say that drop shipping is out but i have seen sales still coming in with drop shipping and if you're able to find a good trending product on aliexpress and you're able to deliver it very quickly you're going to be able to still proceed with the drop shipping model so let's jump right in and start our product imports to Shopify. So to get started, one thing to note is that AliExpress directly does not have a dropshipping application that you can install on Shopify. You do have to opt for a third-party platform such as CJ Dropshipping or Deezers. That's your personal preference, which one you prefer. I like both of them. So to do this, you're going to need a Shopify store. And once you have logged onto your Shopify store, you're going to click on settings on the bottom left. Now, once you click on settings on the bottom left, you're going to click on apps and sales channels, then click on Shopify app store. And from here, you're going to search for your dropshipping application. Now you have CJ, you have Deezers. It really depends on your personal preferences, what type of app you prefer. I like both of these applications. You even have things like AutoDS, but I don't recommend AutoDS. The reason for that is because it can be really expensive to operate AutoDS. So choose whichever platform you find, uh, find to be most reasonable for you. I'm going to be using the Deezer's dropshipping tool, and we're going to just click on install over here. Once you click on install, this will open up a new tab and you will have to authorize Deezer's by clicking on install once more. And once you click on install once more, you will be led to the Deezer's login page. So you're going to create your Deezer's account and for that, all you need is an email address. You guys can see that my Shopify email has been used to create a Deezer's account, but if you already have an account, you can log into that or you can just click on login and authorize with this account. I'm just going to log in and authorize with this account over here. So I'm just going to be creating a new account for Deezer's because my old account cannot be accessed at the moment. We're just going to create a new account with our email address and a suitable password like so and once we've done that we can just click on get started now once you log into your deezers account you actually have to connect your shopify store to deezers it really takes only a couple of seconds to do this you can honestly set up your entire shopify to aliexpress connection in 10 minutes and it's really that easy to get started with drop shipping which is why i still find it to be really lucrative we're going to confirm our connection with our email address with our shopify store and then you're going to choose your plan on deezers now deezers has advanced pro and enterprise plans but i recommend you proceed with a free plan and if you ever feel the need for additional features then you can choose to upgrade so once you've done that it's time to link to your aliexpress account so you're going to click on aliexpress over here and click on login over here once you click on login, you're going to log into your AliExpress account. If you don't have one already, you can simply create a new one. But I already have an account on AliExpress, so I'm just going to log on to that account over here. And then you just have to confirm your connection. And just like that, we are now able to get started with importing products from AliExpress to our Shopify store. So once we have done this, it's time to start finding good products on Deezers or on AliExpress. So for that, you can go into your product research on the left and you can search for the top product. You can also uh, have a search based upon certain keywords as well. And if you want, you can also browse some of the products that you have. So I am going to go into product research. I'm not going to find a supplier. I want to find good products. And if you find something on aliexpress that you really like you can just go into the product research tab and type in the link to find that product on these years as well you can also click on find suppliers to find different suppliers that you might already have worked with that you know work well and you can even go into the import list in your import list you're going to find a product link and you can easily import products into your Deezer's account so i can just open up aliexpress and let's say i really like 
these earrings over here. I can choose to copy the link from AliExpress, go into Deezers, and go into my Deezers import list, click on paste over here. And if the link is not going to work, you're going to click on AliExpress once more to make sure. And yeah, because it said this for Deezers to obtain supplier product data, so I'm going to change the country because you want the countries to match. We're going to save and then we can search again. And depending on the countries, you guys can see because I changed the country, it now is displaying the product. So now I'm going to click on push to store and I can push this to my Shopify store. Now below that, we can also choose to customize the price as well. But if you want to customize the product further, you can simply click on the product and then click on edit product. Now from here, you can customize the listing from AliExpress. So these are going to be our square hoops. And then I can add the length, width, height, and other dimensions. I'm going to add our default package info if there is any. There isn't any, so I'm going to leave this with 2, 2, and 2. And then I can add this to my Shopify collection. I can add vendors and tags. Then you can choose the variants that you want to provide. So I want to offer this in all the variants. And then you can customize your description and images as well. Once done, click on push to store or save on the bottom right to push this product from AliExpress onto your Shopify store. So now we're just going to push this to our store. And just like that, our product is now being pushed to our Shopify store. It only takes a couple of seconds for the store sync up to happen. So now if I go back into my Shopify store and I click on products on the left, you will see that we have our square hoops. And if I view them on my store, they are ready and alive. Currently the product is sold out, but you guys can see how it is such a easy setup to import products from AliExpress to Shopify. So with that in mind on how we can add our products from AliExpress to our Shopify store, there is a lot more that goes in that a lot of people do skip out on because when you're importing products like these square hoops that I just imported, although when you instantly import them, even on your dropshipping platform like uh, AutoDS or like Deezers or like Shopify or, or like CJ Dropshipping, all three of these platforms are very similar. And although they do offer in-store, you know, in-app customizations, I always recommend that you are going to edit your descriptions, edit these sections within Shopify. So the reason for that is because you can see, although this description looks fine, but it looks really off when it's in a Shopify store. So you guys can see they have typos like birthday and it's supposed to say party over here. So I'm going to edit that. So it's really important to go over all these tiny little details that you uh, that you usually would overlook when you're importing products. Now, another really important thing to do is that if you take a look at the product, although their descriptions are pretty OK, but I always like to customize them more. So to do that, simply copy some of the basic text and you're going to remove things like uh, origin, CN, fine or fashion. You can add hoop earrings. I think that's pretty obvious. I don't need to add the semi choice, choice, gender, shape, earring type, metal type. I think the metal type is important, so I'll keep that. And I'm going to remove the package like this, like package package it has two pieces obviously it's going to be two pieces of earrings so you're going to remove all of that then just go on ahead and go into the description and just copy like the main info like the quality the material the materials that are used the crystals are gone the you know the basic stuff so i am going to remove the brand name as well that's really unnecessary and once you have you know a really summarized or condensed version of what is going to remain so we're going to add and remove all of this stuff and we're just going to copy this over here. And once I've copied this, I'm going to go into this sparkly icon and we are going to rephrase and I'm going to click on keep and I'll just convert all of that text into a singular paragraph. And then we can just add some pointers on what type of materials there are present. And you can always elevate your description by going into the description, into the sparkly icon over descriptions. And then you can add just basic features. So these are a rectangle, rectangle hoops. And then I'll just click on generate. I can provide more information, but I want to use a expert or a more so of a sophisticated tone. So I can add a sophisticated tone to that as well. And then click on save and 
you can further optimize your products that you imported from AliExpress in your Shopify store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.